Hey, what's up, you guys? Tomorrow, Studios 99 here, and today, um, um, as you guys know, um, yeah, today actually, I bought a new game for Nintendo Switch, guys. Um, it was a game that recently came out yesterday on November 3rd for uh, 2023, so um, I'm about to pull it out. Um, this is a game, the game is called WarriorWare Move It. Yeah, the recent WarriorWare game. After so long, guys. You see, I mean, the last WarioWare game we had was actually, um, you're not gonna believe it, WarioWare Get It Together. And actually, guys, I actually did an unboxing video, which was recently, actually. Well, I forgot about it. It was during the summer of 2023 when I got WarioWare Get It Together. So let me show you. Um, so this copy I have, guys, of WarioWare Get It Together. Well, this is actually a, uh, a European copy I ordered. The Nintendo Switch is region free, so this means you can play both Japanese or North American releases. And this would personally mean this WarioWare copy I have is from North America, actually. Oh yeah, story guys. I actually tried to find this copy at Walmart today, but for some reason the Walmart where I went to today, they didn't have it in stock. So I actually went to this one video game store uh, from where I live at, guys, called Another Castle Video Games. They sell retro and... Also, new games as well, actually. Uh, it's here throughout Washington State, so, um... I asked them, like, do they have a copy in stock? And they said yes, and they gave me a copy here, guys. I'm glad I got this copy, guys. Yes. After all, guys... And you guys all seen the Nintendo Direct where Wario's voice is now completely different. Yeah, compared to WarioWare Get It Together, which had Charles Marnay, but... Now, Wario's being voiced by Kevin Afghani. The same guy also voices Mario and Luigi in Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And also, speaking about Super Mario Bros. Wonder, sorry I couldn't upload the unboxing um, video, guys, because I was kind of busy at the time. And plus, uh, Wario has a different voice, because, like, Kevin Afghani's Mario and Luigi, who's out of this, where Kevin Afghani, in this Mario, he goes like this, which is, It's a me! And Luigi goes, Oki Doki! Kevin Afghani right there, as opposed to, It's a me! Mario! That's Charles Marnet and. Oki Doki! That's Charles Marnay for Luigi. Warrior Hower, which, uh, voiced by, originally voiced by Charles Marnay, guys, who says, Wah, wah, wah! Wario time! As opposed to Kevin Afghani, who goes, Excellent! Yeah, that's how he sounds like, guys. So, I'm about to start unboxing my copy of Warrior Wear Mood, so, let's get to unboxing it! Alright, guys, so we're about to unbox, uh, Warrior Wear Mood, so, uh, this is the front here. Uh, everyone 10 plus or todos mayor de 10. Well, that's for uh, E10 for Latin America. Then comes to the back, which you had uh, one to four players, uh, one player, handheld mode. Actually, the TV tables out in handheld mode. Uh, for some reason, it's been ex excluded, guys, for hand held mode because you need joy cons in order to play this actually joy cons are required to play think fast and move faster guys look at this everything for warrior Wear gold you see you got orbulon jimmy t ashley and cat nana yeah for warrior Wear. also you have the with the content descriptors being fantasy violence and crude humor then you got spanish right there which is violencia de fantasia and humor vulgar made in japan Officially licensed by Nintendo, so let's start unboxing the game. So, oh, ah, yes, oh crap, come on, stupid game. On, open up. Oh, right, I forgot. You have to open it up like this. Alright, guys, so let's open up the game. So let's see what we got. Oh, look at the cover, guys. Pictures, even including characters from the Warrior Wars series as well. And then we got the cartridge here, guys. Look, look at this entire thing. Every character from the Warrior Wars series. Oh my god, this is really awesome. And here's the cartridge, guys. It's really cool. I know Warrior, there's, there's belly is being nope. Actually, guys, I also do plan on getting this copy autographed because you see, 
when I looked up the credits of the voice roles, you had Todd Habercorn who was credited into doing this. And about like uh, next week, guys, I'm actually meeting him over in Auburn at Unlock the Con. So I might tell him about getting this copy autographed, you know, just to see, you know, how he reacts. And he might ask me like, did I enjoy this game? And I would just tell him yes, but depends on how I enjoyed it. So as you guys saw, you saw the cover, the back, inside, and even the cartridge as well. So let's put it into the console to see how it plays. Of course, I might need to pull out some Joy-Cons for that. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so we're about to put the game WarioWare movie inside the console for the first time. As you guys know, I had a new setup here. I got this desk here. Uh, it was from a family member of mine. So we're about to put the game inside the console. So let's see what we got. Oh, hold on, guys. Let me move for a second, guys. Guys, what's that? Got it. Put it inside the console. Oh, guys, I forgot. Right, sorry. Whoops, I forgot I had a game in there, guys. All right, it's King of Metal. Sorry about that, guys. There you go. This game Warrior. Let's see how it looks when I put it inside the console. <laughs> Okay, that's the cover right there, and I wonder what happens if I go to, oh, let's see, the settings, guys, the software update, let's see if it needs to sell. I am currently using the latest version of this game, so, also my Nintendo Rewards program, so, but let me go down for a moment, guys. Fifty. I guess we're about to play the game for the first time, so about to show you how the intro will go for this game. So let's see it. Of course, this game requires Joy-Cons. You can't use the Pro Controller or anything. For best results, play standing up using your whole body. Make sure to secure the Joy-Con straps. Oh, you guys hear that voice? That's Keith Silverstein, guys. He's the narrator for this game. Then, guys, you're about to hear where you hear Kevin Afghani voicing as Wario. Like, you gotta listen to it, guys. You gotta voice him, guys. This luxury resort is full of fun activities for guests. Kevin Afghani time, guys. We'll show you, listen. Like, listen, guys. Kevin Afghani. <sighs> Full voice acting for Warrior now. You pulled the grand prize getaway voucher. Congratulations, mister. You and 20 friends are going on a dream trip to Cares Away Island. The intro guys for Warrior. Move it so. Wario Way! Move it! God, he doesn't even say move it. So at the game guys, you got story or party mode. The story which is allowed from one to two players, but party which is two to four players. Unfortunately, since this game requires Joy-Cons and um, I don't have another pair since but even though this other pair I have to use has drift, but I don't know if I can use it, guys. So, um, I'm going to show you guys gameplay of how you can do it, but if you want to see gameplay but me doing it, guys, I'm going to have to use a capture card, so hold on. I'll be right back to get my capture card so we can show you how the setup works, how I play. 
So I'm about to go get my capture card now. All right, guys. So this is to show you how I play uh, WarioWare, guys. Uh, move it, one player. So I gotta make sure I hold this way. I'm mostly right-handed. Be aware of my surroundings. So we got Warrior right here, guys. So let's see how he goes. Ready for this? Oh. Let me try to hold the grip when I'm playing, guys. Yep, we're here. Me first, me first. Yep, Warrior voicing. Well, being voiced by Kevin, I've gotten to see. Greetings, welcome to this the island. island. Please wow. take these precious stones as a hello gift. Diamonds that Wari thought it was, but oh, Actually, form stones. Oh yeah, they're shaped like these guys. These in your hands can see, they're shaped like the Joy Cons. And War is like, ah, stupid rocks. I don't want them. Then he got hit. Well, he hit a parrot. The parrot starts attacking them, and oof. Oh my god. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, guys. Oh my god. Oh, where am I? Where am I? Those who dare to approach the shrine will be punished. Oh crap. Get out of War is running. Oh, science says. Choo choo. choo. The voice from above speaks. Hold your form stones in your hands. Keep your arms close to your sides and bend your elbows at a right angle. Your thumbs so must course. be on top. The voice saw that the people were unready and had them brace themselves for anything. This is the origin of Shuchu, a form to survive an absurd endeavor. Shuchu. Escape. Oh, like that. Excellent. Shuchu. Outrace. Hold on, I'm going to Choo choo. Ring the bells. Ring the bells. Excellent. Speed up? Oh yeah, right, because in the Warrior series, every time you hit a certain number, you have to speed up. Choo choo. Clink. Yeah. Choo choo. Choo choo. Extinguish. Yes, we saved Wario from burning. Choo choo. Go. Go. <laughs> you made it to the station. <laughs> Wario the dank engine. <laughs> choo choo. Open. Oh, yeah. Hold both at the same time. Choo choo. Chop. To a carrot curry. Okay. Carrot curry. Choo choo. Creep forward. Oh crap. Boss stage. He messed that one up. Choo choo. Choo choo. Whack a Wario. An electric heal might pop out. There you go. Knock back. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yes! Winner! Winner! Already made it past the... <laughs> monsters. <laughs> no! <laughs> that bud landed on the bird. He's Rock's hat! Get it? Yeah, they're basically like Joy-Cons, guys. Yep. Peter's unlocked, so... I'm guessing you already guys saw how this game works, guys. So yeah. Verdict of the gameplay? Awesome. So let me give you all the verdict of what can I say for this game. So, um, for the verdict of Warrior War Get It Together, from showing that last clip of, you know, the gameplay footage of the entire game, you know, for Warrior War Move It, overall, it was pretty solid, actually. Especially how, if you progress through the game, you learn other various movements. This is basically some kind of, like, a successor to, like, um, well, it's predecessor being Warrior War Get It Together, but this is basically, like, a... Hmm, how do I say it? Like, you're just bringing back WarioWare Smooth Moves, which was a game for Nintendo Wii. WarioWare for Nintendo Wii, released in 2008. Of course, it had mostly about the Wiimo, like... It was pretty solid, actually, for this game of the WarioWare movement. Like, you see, the WarioWare series has gone through various redesigns. Some of the versions still stick to the same design, like those of WarioWare Inc. Mega Micro Games and also uh, WarioWare... Twisted and touched. Some of the state similar to its original ver design. The same goes to WarioWare Smooth Moves, but Game & Warrior, however, despite not having the title WarioWare on it, it is still part of the WarioWare series. They redesigned them. And then, five years later, whew, the debunking of the series, you know? Like, we thought the series was dead, but it turns out they brought it back with WarioWare Gold, redesigning all the characters. And that design has been still brought up with WarioWare Get It Together and recently WarioWare Move It. So yeah, if you're a fan of this series, I really recommend getting this game actually. Although this copy I have is uh, North American actually, which it's going to cost you around uh, $49.99. Or if you live in Canada, for example, it'll cost you around, uh, around like $69.99 in Canada. And you would think like... Super Mario Series Nine How do you know that? Well, from what I can remember, I think it was from a video about this guy where he said he wanted to get Infinite Warfare, finding out it's seventy nine dollars and ninety nine cents or eighty Canadian dollars. Where he says it's still eighty bucks. It's still eighty bucks. Yeah. So I feel like um, games tend to be twenty dollars a bit more than the United States. The same applies to Australia. However, hmm, the vouchers are two hundred. About like uh. 64 dollars or... I don't know, actually. For um, my Australian viewers, uh, how much do video games cost right there in Australia? Comment down below of how much video games are in Australia. So, for this game overall, it's pretty good, actually. And this is a game I do recommend buying. Although, I also do forget, um, when I was looking up on PlayAsia.com, they were actually selling Japanese copies of the game, but for a cheaper price. Around, like... $36. So, I mean, if you don't want to spend a lot of money on the North American version, like, or if you, you live in Europe, like, spending a lot for the European version, then you can just go to PlayAsia.com and just order the Japanese copy. Although, it's going to take a lot of days in order to get shipped. Yeah. Yeah, so anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And also, um, comment down below, like, do you plan on getting this game for Nintendo Switch? Um, if you are, when you play it, tell me about it in the comments. What did you think about playing it? So, yep, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Wario!